So three years ago, you all saw us drive through this gate and see our home for the very first time. How far away? 850 meters. In 500 meters, sharp right. Is that it? That's it, that's it. And this is our land. at your destination. Hans, this is a new home. You have arrived. Woohoo! We have arrived. <laughs> Let me open it up. So welcome to our um, humble home. And over the last three years, you've watched us move in and out of that tent as we commence the work on the main chateau turning the downstairs salon in its decrepit state into a beautiful, thriving business. A restaurant that so many of the locals come and support now, fully booked every week. We can't believe how wonderful it's turned out. And then the transformation of the other rooms into three beautiful self-contained apartments. It's amazing the transformation from these rooms that were in such a disrepair to what they look like now. We have learnt so many skills along the way and done so much work. It has been an absolute joy and pleasure. But those rooms were all for other people. For us to be able to have an income to continue the rest of the renovations. Now was the time for us. As we moved the tent from one barn over to the piggeries to start a new life and build a home for ourselves. When we first arrived, we never even got to see the piggeries and stables area because it was so overgrown. So it wasn't our original plan to turn this into a jeep because we just didn't know what it would be able to be purposeful for. So the first point of call was to clear the land get the farmer in to clear down the brambles, for us to be able to cut down the self-seeding trees in the courtyard and actually see what we had. Luckily for us, August 2020, when we were putting in the mains, waters and electric for the main chateau, we had the sense to dig a trench and lay some mains, water and electric cables over to the 12th century side, so that whatever we use these buildings for, we would have water and electric. It was in September 2022 that we decided we need to start thinking about a home for us. Excited week this week because we're going to start prepping the um, piggeries for us to go and sleep there, move there. It will be our home. Little house is all ready for us to spend our first night. Crazy. I'm so excited. So this is an overview of the piggeries and stables area. It's in two sections. This is the piggeries. And this is the stables, where the tent and us would live whilst we started work on the piggeries side to make into a bedroom. So at this stage, the piggeries consists of three stalls with a very low roof line. We had to open this up to make one big area for the bedroom, one small area for the bathroom, lift up the walls to make them higher so we could make the roof line higher so we could access it. It has three entry points. We would make two of them into windows, one of them into a door. So let's get started and see the full transformation. Nine months work.
you know, leave that there. I'll just build them all around and chuck them out. But I'm just thinking about support needs. <laughs> Shall we come back later once you've decided what you're doing? That's <laughs> sport. <laughs> Right, so, rafters yeah. in today. Rafters in today, as much, you know, hopefully we can get those all in today. And then as, uh, then we can put the felt on tomorrow. The felt goes on, that doesn't take an awful lot of time. And then the battens will go on top of there. And then when the battens are on, we can start laying the tiles back on. Cool. So that's Brilliant. it. Simple as that. Simple as that. Now that the new roof was on, it was time for us to try and remove the old timbers that were no longer necessary. But as you can see, we made a little bit of a hash of it. It's now separated from its other bit. Right, so what are we going to do, baby? How do you think we're going to do this? Well, we need to support it in some way. Well, because that's the problem. You can, you can support it on your shoulders, but I'm too short for that. I'd have to put it on my head. Yeah. And your head's not that hard. Um, as we found out last week. Yeah, as we found out last <laughs> week. But, um, yeah, I think, well, how about if we sling a ratchet strap over? Yeah. And, and that will support it. That will take the weight of it. Probably maybe even a couple of straps over the top. Brilliant. 
So we need to get it out of this side of the wall first, I think. Right, if you just give it a wiggle your end, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's out, it's out. Yeah, is it, uh, is it out? Yeah, it's out. Good. I don't want to go too high. <laughs> it's going to be a right. nightmare. Right, so you get you right. get your end. Yeah, so this okay. end's moving, but yeah. I'm worried about holding it and pushing it. Well, and you I, going in so I plane. think maybe you just push it down. Maybe so, if you push it off the acro, yeah, and then it should just swing down. You move back though, out of the way. Are you yeah, ready? yeah, go, go, go. 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 For God's sake, oh my, <laughs> Jesus, what a pair of Muppets. <laughs> don't Just try don't, this at home, kids. <laughs> don't, don't ever get us in your house to do a I job, please. I flying back at us. So as you can see, it didn't quite go to plan. However, it was out and now reusable in other areas. there was another couple of jobs ticked off the list. Air wall was built to petition the bathroom and the bedroom area. The floor had all been dug out by Ted and was ready now for a cement layer. But before we could do that, all of the walls needed to be lime mortared. Yes, over a hundred square metres of lime mortared walls.
Tokyo door to buy me. I said, Mama, oh, Mama, won't you Tokyo door to buy me? She's a mean, mean lover, and I ain't gonna leave her be. I won't stand no quit, and she won't die around. Stand no quit, and she won't die around. Well, if she does, she'd be six feet in the Excited day today. We're getting the cement going, the concrete floor. I know, it's yeah. monumentous. So with walls, floors and ceiling all complete, it was time to make it completely airtight. The windows and doors was the last thing. Well, these, putting these windows in is a big step forward in the fact that it seals up this area. So the more gaps I fill up, the more airtight we become. So, not too bad, the one frame is in, on to the next. So with the windows now all in place, there was one final thing we had to do. I don't know if you remember, but Hans and Bessie used to use the two openings as hide and seek places to be able to run around and chase each other. We was worried that Bessie would just go flying head first into the window and not realise it was there. So it was time for an introduction.
Hey, baby girl. Maybe I should go. Baby girl, look. Look. Look, there's a window now. Are you sussing it out? <laughs> Are you sussing it out, little one? Look, 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 there's a window, look. Yeah? No running into it. No running about. Window. Look, mummy. See that? Glass window. Don't hurt yourself. So with the front windows in, it was now time to fit the V-Luxes. This is another thing we had never done before, so it was a big learning curve. But this would give us all the natural light we needed within the bedroom area. So step one, cut the hole out, remove the tiles and fit a framework. Sounds simple. Okay, so another exciting week this week. Each week we're cracking on with jobs and um, it takes us a little bit closer to us actually moving in to this being their bedroom in the piggeries. Obviously this is the second phase of renovation. So um, today what I'm doing is cleaning all of the beams up because Ted is going to be putting the plasterboard ceiling in tomorrow. It's so good, it's so good. We're getting walls, ceilings, roofs, floors, it's a proper room coming to fruition, which is absolutely brilliant. I'm so excited.
So with the insulation done, the plasterboard, the ceiling was finished, tape and jointed, painted. But there was one final step, trying to integrate the ceiling into the wall so that it was seamless. Right, so we're here in this beautiful light room that we've got now. Um, the problem that we're facing is covering up all this nasty pipe work. Um, very essential. that we've had before but they are so we love them so much we want them in our house um, so yeah we're gonna lay the floor floor tiles all through here in the bedroom area we've just been marking out laying out that's the important thing we're gonna sweep the floor hoover the floor and start laying them it's really really once we get these down it'll be amazing it just yeah. you know it'll be a room yeah, complete transformation yeah yeah, yeah. So with all the building work complete, there was just time now for the finishing touches.
bedroom of her own. <laughs> Nine months in 30 minutes. I wish it went that quick, don't you? Oh, flipping hell. It seems like an age since we got to get to this point. But it's just so lovely now. And I just think it's it's amazing. We have a lot more work to do. Obviously, we've got the oh. bathroom. Pardon? Tons. Tons of work to do. Tons and tons of work to do. Obviously, we have the bathroom, we've got the living area to do, but at least now we're out the tent and we have a bedroom. After three years of being in and out of that tent, I think we got so used to it, didn't we? It was lovely. We had, you know, a lot of good times in the tent, pardon me for saying. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, but we, we did. It, we, and you said it the other day, which I thought was lovely, is that you said, I felt that it was just our space and nobody could get us in there. And it was like we'd zip up the tent and that was it. Nobody could ever get us. People tried. <laughs> yeah. And you know who you are. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and it is just, it's so lovely to, you know, to be able to wake up in the morning without having to get out of a blue canvas bubble <laughs> and try and find your, your, your clothes to put on in the dark or whatever and, but and it can only get better this is the thing we've done this room and people would have said oh well maybe you should have done this maybe you should have done that differently done it first you know done this part first your living room whatever but it's now that everything we do is going to be such a step forward such a uh, yeah. a, a better better and better and better and better until we've got the entire place done and it's going to be wonderful it is. It is. <laughs> what are you most proud of in um, this place? Because I just think when you think back to the fact that this wasn't this building wasn't even built for habitation. It was built for pigs. So we've really built this from scratch. All we had was the walls and even those we had to, to make higher to be able to put the roof on. Mm. So there's been so many things we've done in here that we've never done before, isn't there? I think, you know, the roof, um, and I thank people that have helped us do the roof, uh, is, is, a, is a major achievement. It's given us the confidence to go and try and do the other one. I, well, from a personal level, I think the fact of digging out this entire floor songs one area that our beloved Char Charlene helped us with and pushed us pushed me on to going right this can be done we we extricated all of that and then i took every bit of stone out from here and the bathroom the most of this room and the bathroom myself and then dug down that for me is a personal achievement because you know how much i love digging <laughs> and i was really pleased and then to level it and all that and to and then every step forward from then on i'm most proud of Lisa for doing the most amazing job on the, the mortaring. We know she's a master at it. But for her to push and push and push and say, no, I want that wall to be the same, I just think it's wonderful. Um, I think, you know, again, the help I had on the ceiling, which I think the ceiling is an amazing job. The Veluxes that we, you know, two and a half on my own. Again, every element just gives me pleasure looking at it. I, I must admit, my most proudest point is being able to mould the walls into the ceiling. Just wonderful. It's I know I keep on about it, but I wake up every morning now that. and I look over at the wall and I look at that part and just think that actually looks pretty amazing. It is. <laughs> the loveliest thing for, for, for me waking up is, is the fact that you wake up to natural light and if anybody that does do this and... People have said to us, I'll oh, put blinds on it. I'm thinking, I don't want blinds on it. I want to see the stars at night. You saw a fabulous electric storm oh, the other night, didn't fantastic, you? fantastic, yeah. yeah. Um, like a proper light show. And um, just having that ability that we don't need blinds on anything. We love the natural light. It gets dark, it's dark. When it's light, it's light and we get up and it's just wonderful. So... We've slept for two weeks now in this bedroom and it has just been amazing. Oh, it's just lovely, yeah, yeah. And okay. um, and you've been there with us all the way. Thank you very much. For so, there. it's um, it's fantastic. It's another room in the estate finished. 
we now have a lot more to do. But next week, we're going to talk about the second project, the big project that we have going in the second phase, the medieval banquet hall. So come back next week for that one. Um, take care, everyone. Hope you like the befores and afters. See you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Au revoir. A bientôt. Oh. Well done. Oh, I love you. I love you too. What and are you doing in here, dog? You're not supposed to be in here, get out.